So, uh, sorry, we are going to discuss one more tool called as a secondary structural element prediction tool and also solvent accessibility prediction tool. So, uh, the solvent accessibility are uh, secondary structure prediction tools. So, we are going to use one data, two databases are there. One is NetSurf P and also the Sevel. Okay, these are the two databases which is able to predict the secondary structure of the protein and also the solvent accessibility. Uh, the NetSurf P server, this is a 2.0 version is available now. It not only predict you a, a solvent accessibility previously we used for the solvent accessibility surface area. Now they have been updated. Now they are uh, uh, they are also provide you a beautiful graph for you whatever the graph you are looking here. It will provide you a secondary structure element and also few other things it will it will provide you. Okay, let us check this one. How exactly they will work? So first we'll work under net surf p net surf p so click this net surf p so here you have to paste your amino acid sequence okay so we are going to use uh, the first one c1s so you can use any 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 sequence whatever you want okay so here so amino acid sequence are provided click on submit so here uh, this is the output output of uh, net surf p so here it will represent a different uh, different second structural component along with the solvent accessibility regions okay you can see here uh, each and every uh, helix has been represented with this symbol and the strands has been represented with this uh, arrows and you can see this coils also represented here so along with this as i told you it will show you solvent accessibility so amino acid uh, solvent accessibility is a very important one so the amino acid residues in the protein might be buried okay but it may be there maybe they are in inside or they are exposed to the uh, solvent uh, solvent system okay if the buried residues usually uh, form a hydrophobic core to maintain the structural integrity of the protein so if you take the other exposed one they are uh, exposed one exposed residues are directly related with the uh, protein function especially uh, it play a vital role in a binding with the different kinds of ligand molecules okay so it's very important it's always important to predict the solvent accessibility of the residues it's always helpful for us to understand the structure and functionality of the proteins okay so you can see here from this graph we can we can easily predict so this region has been you can see here the red is the exposed one it mean it has been exposed to solvent system and the blue color is uh, corresponding to the buried region it mean they are inside the, inside the protein okay inside the protein and form a strong hydrophobic core with the other amino acids okay so you can save this image if you want to if you can save this image or you can export uh, uh, the solvent accessibility information also in, in in excel sheet okay so if you click on the particular amino acid it will show you where exactly it has been located you can see here it has been located this is a uh, uh, almost 10th amino acid is there. It's a amino acid 10 tyrosine. The relative solvent accessibility is 14%. It means almost it is a buried region. And also it's located in the beta sheet. It is located in the beta sheet. Along with that, it will show you a, a pi psi angles. So here one more database is there. Uh, it it will it will provide you a, a only a second structure element that is stable. Okay, so here sable okay here also you have to provide a just amino acid sequence sorry so you need to provide your amino acid sequence uh, so give the name for this one cs1 okay click on submit so here uh, it is also going to predict your secondary structure also solvent accessibility okay and if you want to check this transmembrane region also it will show you but it's not a transmembrane protein so if you have an option you can do this one so you can say uh, by default you're going to use the same symbol 2 and uh, this version only okay click on submit okay it almost took seven to eight minutes for me to get the results so once you're done this one 
uh, added down you can see find uh, a, a second structure element along with the uh, graph for uk so here uh, this is uh, nothing but the uh, helices this represents as a helices and this blue cool blue lines are the coils and these are the sheets okay and you can see this one uh, the darker color the dark in the color it represents uh, uh, completely buried so the the sign is 0 to 9 0 to 9 it is the scale is 0 to 9 if it is completely white the completely white it means they are exposed completely black means it's buried and completely white means it's uh, uh, it's exposed completely exposed and also it will show you a, a various uh, color option also for you you can see here you can increase uh, if you want to check the chemical properties profile also you can add that one so here chemical pro properties click on uh, update so it will show you chemical properties you can each and every color it show you a different uh, physiochemical properties for example this uh, yellow color is uh, hydrophobic uh, amino acids and i can see here uh, they also show you a amphibiotic amino acids polar amino acids so various information it will show if you want to know about more about this information you have to click on this help page so if you click on this help page it will provide you a information for you what exactly each and every every components are okay so also it will provide you a scales for you as i told you if it is a very dark in color in black it is uh, completely buried if it is white it is completely exposed to one Okay, so like this we can we can easily uh, save this information or uh, use this information for your research for your research work so this is about the second structure element so now we are going to look on to this final uh, final uh, tool so which is a really interesting tool where you can do the so much of analysis in a one particular tool that is called as a prediction protein tool so you have to type uh, prediction protein dot org so you have to register with your academic email so if you don't have academic e email they are not going to give a id password for you okay so here uh, the simple one the same thing we have to paste the amino acid sequence so copy the sequence so click on predict so the beauty with this predict protein server is it not only give you one one particular uh, tool results for you, it will give various various kinds of uh, annotation in a single tool so like a secondary structure and transmember helices okay disorder region disulfide bridges so effect of the mutation so it will show you so many things for you okay so here you can see here uh, it will give you a total composition as a physiochemical properties you can see a 631 amino acids are there and uh, it will show you a, it is from the human being if you this is the domain this is a region of uh, your protein okay if you click if you zoom this one if you zoom this region it will show you a, a localization where exactly has been so click on this second structure element so it will show you how many what is the percentage of uh, helices loops and strands are there and also it will show you how many buried exposed residues are there Okay, it meant I already told you in a net survey so how we can calculate this buried and exposed residues. Along with this, you can see a transmembrane region. This is not a transmembrane protein. That's not that's why it's not given to give any results for you. If it is a transmembrane protein, it will show it will show you information for you which where exactly uh, the helices and loops has been sorry where exactly the spanning how exactly the spanning of the transmembrane has been there. And also it will show disulfide bridges. Uh, disulfide bridges also for you here we don't have any information mean it doesn't have any disulfide bonds in this protein so uh, out of the all the tools here one of the most insert, interesting one is the effect of point mutation when the methane has been replaced with the alanine what exactly it's going to have so you can see a scale if the scale is uh, dark in red okay so if dark is red it's going to alter the function of a protein for example here methionine is your amino acid your, amino, your sequence amino acid and methionine has been replaced with the alanine it's going to or uh, it's going to change the function of a protein similarly the phenylalanine if the phenylalanine has been replaced with alanine it's not going to alter the function of a protein maybe it's not going to give you that much of uh, information like this what each and every amino acid they did the point mutation to check the what exactly the function uh, what they predicted the what exactly the effect of the point mutation there 
uh, what exactly the effect of the point mutation okay so for all these 20 amino acids are here and this is your sequence okay this line is your sequence and this region is your uh, 20 amino acids so and also it will show you a gene ontology also for you it means uh, it will show you what is the function in a molecular function in a ontology biological process okay so and also cellular component so and also it will show you subcellular localization if you click on the supply location, it will show you where exactly your protein has been located. It is located in somewhere in the nucleus region. And also it will show you a binding sites. So here, if you zoom this region, it will show you a binding site regions also in your protein. Okay. So like this, we can identify uh, easily so many options are available in the protein prediction tools. Like uh, as it, we discussed with you, uh, the solvent access will be transparent region, disulfate bond. Uh, point mutation, gene analytical terms, so many things are available here where you can use this information for your work. These are few protein annotation tools. So there are so many various uh, annotation tools are available depending upon the type of uh, annotation you are required. So I'm going to provide a annotation link, annotation link uh, in the description box. Check that one if you are working, if, 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 you, if you are interested to particular annotation. It's very simple. You have to paste your sequence and you have to understand what exactly the principle of that particular tool. Okay. So in next video, we are going to perform the protein structural annotation uh, to find out the hydrogen bonds, active, style, active site, stability, and many more things we can do with the structure. This video we did with the amino acid sequence. Next video we are work, going to work with the uh, uh, structure part. Okay. Thank you. So if you like this video, please uh, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.